What's up guys, it's me, your badass host Shaven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Black Walkthrough. Okay, so in the last episode, uh, we managed to defeat a few kindergartners, preschoolers, daycare kids, I don't know, what have you. Uh, yeah, defeat Team Plasma, kick their butts with Charon. You know, he, he was there, he was there just helping us out. And uh, we returned a Pokemon to a small girl and got some heal balls, and in the process too, we got ourselves a new Pokemon, Drillmonger. Or Drillber, for short, you know, that kind of stuff. And yes, off screen, I trained my Drillber just a little bit, or Drillmonger, just a little bit, because, yeah, these next few trainers, they're gonna be a little harsh and all that stuff. But yes, in the process too, I managed to capture a few Pokemon here and there in the area, just because I want to add to the collection and all that stuff. And you don't know, you may never know if you, you'll need another HM slave. So let us move on to Nat Green City. And, uh, well, let's go ahead and test drive this new Pokemon right here Drillmonger. Pretty cool uh, nickname right here. And, uh, alrighty, what do you got to say? Speak to me. Now I get to show off everything I learned at the trainer school. Okay, alrighty. Okay, bookworm, bring it on. Here we go. School kid Al would like to battle, and he will be coming out with his blizzle. Okay. Alrighty, so this is the perfect challenge right here. Electric type versus ground type. Now you can capture a blitzel around this area right here, and I actually thought about capturing one, but I realized eh, it wasn't really good for the you know for the team because it's not that strong as you guys probably think. Um, believe it or not, guys, outside of this, I'm actually playing Pokemon Black simultaneously with this just to get a little bit of the lay of the land, you know, to get me uh, you know to get me acclimated to the the whole region and all that stuff. And, you know, to take some notes, figure out some stuff, and then just uh, incorporate it right here. You know, test out some Pokemon, you know, this whole thing right here. And Blitzel is one of those Pokemon that, you know, I did try, but really didn't, it really didn't cut it right here. So, right now, I don't need a Blitzel. Eventually, you'll get a Blitzel. And this guy right here is just like, you know, tanking it up, using charge. Yeah. Using charge. And beefing up its special defense right here, so that, that's not good right now. So now we got to hit it physically, and a good thing that we learned Fury Swipe, so it's going to hit him multiple times right here. Look at that, with its claws, that's right. Eat it, Blitzel. There we go, Drillmonger, kicking butt, taking names, growing to level 14. That's right, buddy. Look at that, Drillmonger. I'm loving this Pokemon right now, I really am. Okay, so let's move on right here. As you can see, there is an item right there, and I really, 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 really don't want to get attacked by a Pokemon, but we might get one attacked by a Pokemon. So let's go right ahead and get attacked by a Pokemon. Not right now, but there it is. An antidote. Much needed antidote to uh, heal up our poison Pokemon. And, uh, well, Charon's right there, and he notices us, and he's going to be like, Draven, stop! Get over here. That dark tall grass over there. Every now and again, two Pokemon will pop up, uh, pop out at the same time. In other words, you have to be careful in darker grass. I'm heading to Nat Green City. Oh, okay, alrighty. Okay, so, as you can see, this whole patch of grass, you can find two Pokemon at the same time, and of course, you do have to make that, that hard decision in uh, picking which Pokemon you want. And, uh, well, if you defeat... If you defeat both Pokemon, that's double the experience points right there for you. So that's always great, guys. Uh, I don't want to capture any Pokemon right now. And uh, here comes out a Swoo or a Woobat, which you can actually capture in the cave as well. I didn't capture that one. Uh, completely forgot about that. And, uh, well, let's see. I could go with Fury Swipes. Right now, Drimonger is not... Yeah, it's not up to par against any kind of flying-type Pokemon, but eventually it will learn some pretty good ro rock-type moves. And, uh, you know, it's going to turn into a steel tank, too. That kind of stuff. There we go. Get this freaking claws. And then, uh, oh, crud. Here we go again. Gust attack. And, uh, well, let's go again with another Fury Swipes. Yes, feel the fury of my swipes. There we go. Drillmonger kicking some butt. And he does it. That's right. That's right. This Drillmonger is kicking some butt. I'm loving this Pokemon right now. F yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay, so, let's see, uh, well, let me talk a little bit about what's going on right now in the world of Pokemon, or ba basically in the world right now. So, uh, I know a lot of you guys are out there watching uh, my walkthroughs, probably from different countries and all that stuff, and as we all know, we have a little bit of something going on called the, uh, what was it called, uh, the, yeah, the coronavirus. 
Yeah, that is bugging the crud out of me because, as you pro guys probably already know, like I was saying, as you guys probably already know, god dang it! Anywho, I was capturing another Pokemon for the collection and all that stuff, but it's not gonna be on our team. Um, okay, so like I was saying, you guys already know, in real life, I am a personal trainer. And uh, it kind of affected me in a little way. Uh, yeah, people are afraid of this whole virus and all that stuff. Not saying that, you know, you guys shouldn't take precaution. But I'm just saying, all you gotta do is wash your hands. Take the necessary uh, precautions with the hygiene and all that stuff. And I get it, I get it. it. You know, you should take it seriously because of, you know, it, it may affect you in sub point and all that stuff. And I hope it doesn't, but... As you guys already know, personal trainer affected me in a little bit. Having a little more free time on my hands, that's why you guys are seeing a little bit more Pokemon walkthrough, uh, walkthroughs right here on my channel. And, uh, yeah, you know, I'm not really liking it because I'm used to being busy and all that stuff. But I am hoping and I will be praying for all of you guys out there in YouTube land if you guys are in Europe, Italy and specifically uh, Japan, China, all that stuff. If you guys are watching my walkthroughs right here, I will be praying for you guys for a healthy and, uh, well, for a healthy fight against this whole coronavirus. Believe it or not, guys, where I'm at, it's hit uh, maybe one or two people, but I'm not too, I'm not too scared to be, to, to, to just tell you guys the truth because, you know, we've had these kinds of pandemics before and, uh, yeah, you know. You don't want, like, it, it, it really didn't affect us in such a harsh way now that we live in a modern world. Anywho, as you can see right there, there's some rustling grass. If you guys don't know what that means, where the hell were you guys? So the rustling grass usually means an Audino. Unfortunately, we can't battle it. Like I said, we can't battle it now because we got attacked by a P-Dove right there, but the rustling grass usually means an Audino. You go there, on your spare time, battle them, and usually you get a nice chunk of experience points and, you know, the experience, you know, they, it usually goes up pretty, pretty, uh, oh, it goes up immensely right there. So, uh, yeah, that's a good Pokemon to actually battle, and, uh, yeah, well, whatever. Anywho, about that coronavirus thing. Again, guys, don't worry about anything. Really, it's just, it's gonna pass over. I get it, a lot of things are being stopped. Most of you guys, actually, I don't want to use Perloin, what the hell am I doing? Most of you guys who are still in school, you guys got an extended spring break, so uh, be happy for that one right there. Don't be happy because there's really nothing that you can do outside of this. But I'm just saying, it is nothing to be worried about, guys. I'm uh, I'm sure it's going to go over pretty well. And, uh, you know, we'll be going back to our normal lives just like I am right here. Again, I don't like having so much free time. I like being busy and all that stuff. So, go in right here. Using that takedown attack. Yeah, buddy. No more P-Dove. That's right. We're kicking some butt right here. Ace is growing some pretty, some good uh, levels right here. And here comes a Rog and Rolla, a Pokemon that you can actually find in the Wellspring uh, Cave right there. And I'm going to be using Sign of the Torrent just for a little more experience points right here. Now, if you guys haven't noticed, I do like uh, having a variety of Pokeballs for different Pokemon. As, you know, that this is the main reason to why I waited for... Uh, I waited to capture Ace because once we got over to, uh, what was it? To Sacre or, you know, whatever town. Sacre? No, not Sacre. What are the, the first town? Yes. Whenever we got to that first town right there, it, they usually offer up maybe one or two new Pokeballs. We found a Great Ball. We found a, a Dust Ball. And we can actually buy some Heal Balls as well. And that's why I waited. That way I can, you know, have a wide variety of Pokemon with wide variety of Pokeball, Pokeballs and all that stuff. So, that's pretty much it right there. And here we are, guys, going into Nacreen City. Look at that. And, uh, oh, look at that. Our good old buddy, Charon. He's waiting for us. He's like, come with me a sec. Oh, damn, this guy's all serious and all that crud. Okay, what do you have to say? <coughs> Nearly coughed. Don't have the coronavirus, guys. I seriously swear to God. If you go straight from here, there is a Pokemon Center, and use these if you want. He's always nice enough to give us Chesto Berries, and with very, very good use, because actually Chesto Berries are very much needed in this one right here, because a Gym Leader has a specific Pokemon that will want to, uh, yeah, will want you, uh, will want to put you to sleep. Okay, so give your Pokemon a Chesto Berry to hold, then it will ever, if it ever falls asleep, it will wake up immediately. 
And oh, and another piece of advice. Night Green City's gym leader uses normal type Pokemon. If you use a fighting type Pokemon, it might give you a big advantage. Of course, uh Yeah, don't really have a fighting type Pokemon. Uh Duwa doesn't learn any kind of fighting type moves until like level 28. So we're gonna have to stock up on some levels right here. So in this episode, I'm actually gonna take a small tour of Nat Green City and then uh, show you what you guys can find. So let's go into this house first. Uh, let's see. If you talk to this lady, her name is Lobloli. She's a designer of decor, decor items. But I'm stuck now. I just can't come up with a good design. I've been thinking about decor so great that it will appear in a dream. Okay, so um, comment down below what she does, okay, guys? Because I'm not really too familiar with what she does, okay? So now let's go right here into this door. Let's see what we have. Uh, let's see. Okay, so if you talk to this lady right here, she's like, Oh, my, what a lovely brainer. What kind of a Pokemon do you have? Oh, you're herdier. It's friendly towards you. It must be really, uh, must be happy with you. Oh, okay. I believe she gives you a ribbon if... Uh, yeah, if your Pokemon are super friendly with you or anything like that. And talk to this guy. Pokemon you get through trades grow fast, but be careful. If a trader one uh, or trader Pokemon grows up too much, it won't listen to you. But if you have a lot of badges, you'll be okay. And that is true. Very, very true. Now, if you talk to this lady here, she's going to be asking you for a Pokemon named Cottony. If you guys don't know what Cottony is, look down below right there. She will be trade. She will want to trade you a Petalil for a Cottony. Of course, it's the opposite way in Pokemon White. Unfortunately, we don't have a Cottony or a Petalil or whatever. You know, we don't have either one. So I'm gonna get the heck out of here. Okay, so let's see. There's the Pokemon Center. Um, let's see. What does this place offer? I know that there's someone in here that gives us items. So if you go right here, I started a shop at the warehouse. How may I help you? This person will actually offer, you know, he'll sell you some X items. And uh, you know what? If you guys are one of those people that likes to use X items, go right ahead. Buy it right here. Talk to this guy. Dire Hit. It's in, in Unova. It's called Dire Hit. Huh? No difference. Anyways, in a battle, it's a very powerful when the move is a critical hit. Oh, okay. I, I, can, I, can, I, I can use that, maybe. I don't even know. Now, talk to this guy. Just now, I traded a Pokemon holding an item. So, it's like an item is a present. Oh, okay. And this guy's like, DS wireless communication is great. We can trade Pokemon with people who are oh, far away. Okay. They're going to be telling us all that stuff. And uh, what does this guy say? Well, why is he looking at this place? That warehouse. They're selling something good inside. Okay, well, we already knew that. Damn. And uh, let's see. Uh, let's see. Talk to this lady. Berg used his warehouse until two years ago when Berg... Gets artist block. He comes to he comes here for uh, to Nat Green City. Now Berg is the following gym leader after this one. And uh, let's see that thing you have it uh, is a Pokedex, isn't it? Wow, cool! You collect Pokemon. Okay, I'll help you. Which Pokemon did you choose at the beginning of your journey? Now this lady right here will give you an elemental item for the Pokemon that you've chosen in your in the start of your uh, Pokemon career right here. If you get a Snivy, I think you get a Miracle Sea, Oshawa, a Mystic Water, and a Tepig, you get a Charcoal. Of course, we chose Oshawa. So let's go ahead and get that uh, Mystic Water right here. It will power up your Water type moves. Always beneficial. That's good. Very very good. A lot of items have effects when Pokemon hold them, so try to find out. Okay, all right. So that's, I can, uh, yeah, that is the person that we needed to go to in order to get some stuff right there. Now, if you go right here, let's see. Yeah, Cafe Warehouse. Try our delicious Wednesday specials. If you go right here, they will sell you something pretty awesome on Wednesday. Uh, today is Monday as I'm recording this, so let's see. We just have to catch that person's live. Like, hold on. Uh, oh, yeah, we have to go right here. Okay. Come here, lady. Come on. Oh, damn it. Come on. Wait for me. Come on. I'm pressing the A button right here. Yes! This cafe is special on Wednesday. Okay, never mind. So it's not even Wednesday at all. Okay, so that is pretty much it right there for this area. Now, there is one more thing we need to do. Or one thing that I want to do. That way, you know, we end on a good note. And that is try and go inside the museum. Now, before we do that... I don't want to go into the Pokedex right now. Hold on. I'm gonna go right here and switch out my Pokemon. I'm gonna go with Sigh of the Torrent because we got a little somebody here waiting for us. Now, if you try and go into the museum, you'll find N. He's just gonna be pushing you back. He's gonna be like, I want to see things no one can see. The ideals of Pokemon inside Pokeballs, the truth of how a trainer should be, and a future where Pokemon have become perfect. Do you feel the same? What if I say no? 
I don't even know. Let's just say yes. Let's agree to disagree or something. I don't even know. Is that so? I think my friends and I should test you to see if you can see this future too. Alrighty! Okay, so here it is guys. Battle number two against Trainer End, and he will be coming out with three Pokemon right now. One being a P Dove right here. Eventually, you know, his his uh you know his Pokemon gets stronger and stronger along the way. You know, that kind of stuff. But here it is, P Dove looking like uh one of them chickens from uh or one of them pigeons from uh, Animaniacs. Can't remember their names. You guys know who I'm talking about. And oh god, nearly beats this P Dove and there's that gust attack. Oh god. And uh here we go, finish him off, tackle attack. Ah, oh, crud. There it is, tackle attack. Again. There we go. Yeah, buddy. Sigh of the torrent, kick it some butt. Now, here comes a time pool, so I'm gonna be switching it up. No! Oh, yeah, that's the wrong Pokemon to switch it to. Good golly. Okay. I wanted to go to Lillipup. I don't know, I got like a little bit of a trigger hand. Uh balls. Okay, 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 okay. Alright, so let's go ahead and switch out our Pokemon. Let's go to Ace. Of course, Steinpole is weak, but it is a water type Pokemon, so it does have an advantage against my uh my uh Pokemon. As you can see, Bubble Beam. About to hit me. And uh well, we gotta take this guy out. Let's go. Take down attack. That's right. Takes him out. Just like that. Look at that. Alrighty, alrighty. Drillmonger got some experience points, and here he's gonna be coming out with the uh, timber. Yeah, gonna have to do that. Okay. Let's go with Drillmonger. Alright, Drillmonger, let's see what you got. Timber! Of course, this Pokemon looks like a veiny uh, bicep right here. Some kind of a veiny bicep, but I don't even know. So here we go, Mud Slap. We're gonna try and blind this guy. Yeah, it takes a good chunk, and it was a critical hit right there. But here he comes with the low kick attack. So we gotta hit him one more time with the mud slap. Here we go. And uh, yes, your accuracy is lowered. But here he comes with a focus attack, or focus energy. Good god, I don't wanna fucking just like get hit by, by a critical hit. Oh god, okay, there you go. You're even more blind. Low kick has been avoided. So we're gonna try and uh, destroy this, or defeat this guy with, with every mud slap we can. That way it can be totally blind, it won't hurt us and all that stuff. So let's go ahead and just continue pushing our luck right here. Look at that. That's right. Slowly but surely we're defeating this guy. And crud! There was that critical hit that we didn't want. Good god, okay. Alright. We can do this. Let's go with Sigh of the Torrent. Okay. Let's do this. Okay, so let's go right ahead and use a Razor Shell. There we go, Razor Shell for the win. Okay, alrighty. And that is how you do it. Yeah, buddy. And and he's like, right now my friends aren't strong enough to save all Pokemon. Maybe I can't solve the equation that will change the world. So I need power. Power enough to make anyone agree with me. Sounds kind of a cryptic right there. Hmm. Now I know what power I need. Zekrom! The legendary Pokemon that, along with the hero, created the Unova region. It's my turn to become that hero, and you and I will be friends. Wow. Holy crud. You and I will be friends. Oh, that's, that, that kind of sounds like very, like, it sounds cryptic and kind of cynical at the same time. I don't even know. But there it is, guys. This is where we're going to stop. In the next episode, we're going to go into the next route, battle a few people, get powered up, because this next gym leader, she's going to be a, a doozy of a trainer right here. Plus, we can get an item that we knew that, that we can use to beat her. So thank you guys for watching. I will see you guys in the next episode. See you guys.